आज हम देखेंगे ऑक्सीमैग वेंटिलेटर कंपनी इज मैग्नामेड द मॉडल इज ऑक्सीमैग इट कैन इट इज अटल टू एडल्ट वेंटिलेटर इट कैन बी यूज फ्रॉम न्यूनेटल पेशेंट्स टू यू कैन यूज इट एज अ न्यूनेटल पेजेट्रिक और एडल्ट वेंटिलेटर दिस इज द टच स्क्रीन दिस इज द कंट्रोल नॉब दिस इज द अलार्म लाइट एंड दिस इज द बैक पैनल दिस इज फॉर द एक्सटर्नल बैटरी ऑक्सीजन इनपुट इट इज ऑक्सीजन ड्रिवन वेंटिलेटर इट कैन नॉट बी रन विदाउट ऑक्सीजन सो हियर इज द एयर इनलेट फिल्टर this is the on off switch this is the power adapter or battery charging it needs high pressure oxygen minimum 35 psi you can connect it with the cylinder or high pre- uh, central line oxygen now the other side this is the exhalation valve this is the patient outlet this is the sensor line connectors and this is the etco2 and spo2 uh, module is inbuilt this is the connector for etco2 and spo2 it has a etco2 module inbuilt massimo mod- module you can get this uh, when you connect o- spo2 sensor you will get the oxygen uh, spo2 reading and if you connect the this eto2 connector you will get the etco2 reading this is the exhalation valve this can be disconnected for disinfection this is the diaphragm you can clean it and put it again this is the lock this is the hanging clamp you can hang it with on anywhere to the stretcher or side rail or on the bed or something anywhere you can hang it it has a 3.25 kg weight it has reusable sensors it is maintenance free machine it's a neonatal to adult ventilator we have different flow sensors for different patients here it is written it is infant it is neonatal and this is adult flow sensor so according to your patient you have to choose your flow sensor these are reusable polycarbonate uh, flow sensors this is the sensor line this is the patient end it can be connected here like this and this is the ventilator end you have to connect according to their holes like this you can use basic circuit no need to connect any special circuit any circuit you can connect double limb circuit any circuit it can be plain circuit or double water trap or single water trap any circuit you can use it has a ports 22 mm these are 22 mm female this is 22 mm male like this and this other end of the flow sensor you can connect here and as a test lung you can connect this rebreathing bag or any test lung you can connect here (coughs) 
this is the high pressure oxygen tubing you can hand tight this no need to and no need to connect any spanner or something like that you can tight it with your hands and this connector will go to the regulator or central line and you can connect it to the central line oxygen this is the regulator you can use for the cylinder it can be connected here this is also hand tied no need to connect any spanner or something like that like this this will go to the cylinder we don't have any oxygen supply here so we'll check it in the demo mode so now we start this machine this is we have switched on the ventilator now whenever you switch on the ventilator it shows all the patients adult pediatric neonatal according to the patient you need to select your circuit you want neonatal then you will use 10 mm tubings if you want pediatric circuit you have to connect this 15 mm tubings if the patient is adult then you have to use 22 mm adult circuit so after that whenever you touch the patient say adult it will start ventilation immediately so no need to uh, adjust and preset and all that according to the patient the preset parameters will work and ventilate it will start ventilating so now we'll start the demo mode for if you want to change the patient then you have to again switch it off and switch on again now we'll you see this in demo mode for demo purpose you have to uh, uh, hold this press these two buttons simultaneously see it says demo now see if we want to use it for neonatal say neonatal so the mode is plv this is the waveform these are the set parameters this is inspiratory flow inspiratory pressure this is frequency inspiratory pressure if you want to change just select change and confirm you can confirm from here as well as from here also so this is confirm if you will not confirm it will come to original settings uh, the previous settings if you will not confirm this is inspiratory time confirm this is P. Very simple to use. So for this is the flow. You can increase, decrease flow also. Confirm. You press this. The next page will come. Here you can adjust the FIO2. The FIO2 you can adjust this from 35 to 100 percent. Minimum is 35, maximum is 100 percent. Anywhere you can select you cannot use 21 percent oxygen in this minimum is 35 this is the flow trigger this is the pressure trigger both triggers are there now if you want to change the mode see the mode so you touch this 
it will show you the pressure limited ventilation mode pressure SIMB CPAP with pressure support and dual IPAP this is a BiPAP CPAP with pressure support and PS pressure SIMB and pressure limited mode if you want change you want to change the mode select this mode it will blink you have to confirm this if you want to change this blinking parameter or you just confirm this to activate the next mode if you will not confirm it will come to the previous mode after a few seconds in this SIMV mode you have inspiratory pressure frequency inspiratory time peep FIO2 and the next page is pressure support flow trigger pressure trigger cycle pressure support and in the flow these are the set parameters now you can monitor other things also other parameters say just touch anywhere in the screen this nine windows will come first window is expired parameters numerical values you will get this is the tidal volume p max p minute volume frequency fio2 touch again second screen this is the inspired parameters inspired volume inspiratory time plateau pressure ie ratio expiratory time mean airway pressure third is lung mechanics you will get the lung mechanics also in this next is flow pressure waveform this is the alarm silent this is the flow pressure waveform this is the flow volume waveform and here are the loops volume pressure loops and flow volume loops two loops you will get next is alarms these are low pressure alarms are always off default by default these are on off so if you want to change just select this change this and confirm like all if you want to adjust automatic say 10% of the set parameters or 20% of the parameters it will adjust 20% plus 20% minus it will adjust automatically see it will come automatically these are the alarms next is configuration in configuration you can adjust the parameters by putting the patient's weight so see we have selected the neonatal patient now we are adjusting the weight so you can use it for the premature baby also say the weight is 0.5 kgs from the 0.5 kgs if you select weight it will select automatically the other parameters according to the weight if you want to tune it fine you can increase or decrease parameter after that also it has a NIV ventilation also if you want to use any mask or cannula or something you can select the NIV in the demo mode it is not showing NIV if you uh, connect it with the gas you will not use the demo mode it will show you NIV here when you select the NIV here and select so it can be used for neonatals it can start from half kgs it's a very good machine maintenance free machines next is here you can calibrate oxygen or co2 if you want to calibrate if you are using the co it is co2 sensor next is ventilator in this you can use change the units of the pressure here you will get when you test this ventilator you can get all the this compliance leakage resistance of the circuit you can also get that here you can adjust the alarm volume the 5 is maximum 1 is minimum next is here you will get the when you connect this oxygen here 
it will show you the pressure also from the pipeline or regulator whatever wherever it is connected it will show you the pressure exact pressure and here you will get the oxygen consumption it will show you when you connect oxygen it will show you the quantity of the uh, oxygen how much quantity is being used on the set parameters so you will get the idea from where you are taking the patient how long you have to go it is taking these four liters per minute or three liters or five liters per minute so you can calculate according to the this reading how many cylinders you will not uh, need for the distance you have to go here you can check the you can monitor what if you are seeing this uh, wave waveforms here you can select one parameters here any parameter you want to see this is p max minute volume expired tidal volume any parameter you want to see you can keep it like this this is the alarm silent button you will touch it it will silent this is the standby key you just press it it will be standby press it for 3 seconds now again it is working here are the some more buttons this is screen lock unlock when i press this the lock has occurred now you cannot change you cannot change anything here so if you want to change you have to unlock this just press it the lock will go now you can change anything this is the inspiratory expiratory hold this is the inspiratory expiratory hold you can see here this is the hold it is hold for the x-ray you can use this button inspiratory or expiratory hold this is the manual ventilation you press it will give you a manual breath see this is the manual breath this is the o2 100 percent for suction pre-suction or post suction when you press this it will go automatically to 100 percent after suction you can again press it after when, when it is finished it will come again come to the preset FIO2 this is the screen freeze if you want to take any screenshot of the loops or waves or readings it will freeze the screen this is unfreeze and one more option is there if you are using it in ambulance you want to use only oxygen you want to connect venti mask you can bring it to the standby now press this for three seconds the electronic flow meter will come now you can increase or decrease flow you will get oxygen supply here we are supplying a connector with this when you connect here you can connect your venti mask or oxygen cannula you can use it with the you don't have to change the flow meter or anything else you can use this electronic flow meter with this up to 15 liters you can give flow to the patient now again if you want to see the other modes other modes you can select adult in adult you can use vcv pcvc pep pressure support volume simv pressure simv bipap anything you can use say vcv like other also other modes also you can use this expired parameters inspired parameters slung mechanics waveforms are similar in this you can use this adult mode in adult mode you can see up to you can ventilate up to see 
kgs patient you can ventilate with this machine say the patient's weight is 80 kgs just select this it will select all parameters automatically according to the 80 kgs patient This is adult mode. If you want to use the pediatric, you can select pediatric. This is the pediatric mode. In pediatric, you have all the modes like adult mode, but the parameters are limits. The default parameters will be according to the pediatric patient. You want to change the mode, just select and confirm the blinking parameter to change the mode. Now it has come to pediatric VCV. When you buy the sensors for ETCO2 or SPO2 sensors, when you connect here, if you connect SPO2 or ETCO2, one more window will come here whatever the connector uh, the sensor you have connected spo2 or atco2 one parameter it will show at a time if you connect spo2 sensor it will show you the spo2 reading here or in waveform if you connect the atco2 sensor it will show you the etco2 waveform and reading thank you